let's learn how to save any pattern to your Illustrator library in this super simple tutorial. So on the canvas you'll see a pattern that I created in a previous tutorial. Now right now this pattern exists in this file, seamlesspattern.ai, and you can see the pattern swatch here in my swatches panel. If I just delete this, grab my rectangle tool, make sure this is selected, and I can click and drag out and there I have my pattern. Now the problem is if I open a new document, I won't have this pattern saved. So I need to save this pattern to my swatches library so that I can use it in any new document. Now to do this, we're going to save this swatch set. Now this pattern is saved as a pattern swatch in these default swatches. So I can either save this swatch set and then when I open it, select and show pattern swatches and then maybe I can delete these default ones here. So hold shift, select them both and click to delete, press OK. Or if I command or control zero to go back and show all swatches, I can get rid of all the swatches in this default swatches panel so that I'm just left with the pattern swatch that I want. So again, I've got color groups, I've got gradient swatches, I've got individual colors. So let's just select these two color groups. Again, hold shift to select multiples and let's delete this swatch selection. And then let's select this pattern swatch all the way up to white to select all these colors. I can't get rid of the no fill and default, so I have to leave those there. But select all these colors, gradients, and pattern swatches and click to delete. Press yes. And now I'm just left with the dog swatch. There we go. And then I'm gonna save this set of swatches. So click the hamburger icon, come down to save swatch library as AI. This will now take me to my swatches folder. So I'm gonna call this dog pattern, saving it as a swatch file.ai. So press save. So that's now saved as a swatch. So if we put this to the test, let's close this file and let's create a new file. We're going to file new. Let's just press create. And now if I come to my swatches panel, window swatches, click the hamburger icon, come down to open swatch library, and then come down to user defined, I can then locate my save swatch dog pattern. There it is. And then if I grab my rectangle tool, select the dog pattern, and then I click and drag out. And there is my pattern saved to my library to use in any Illustrator document. So there you have it, that simple to save any pattern to your swatches library to be used in Illustrator. I hope you found that helpful. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, keep on designing, and I'll see you for the next tutorial.